is TOS Television, your digital force for an Africa News Network. I am Abigail Lukwadi and this is Africa Now. Kenyan teachers say corporal punishment should be returned to classrooms to allow them to be tougher on pupils. Kenya outlawed corporal punishment in schools in 2001. The Children's Act protects children from all forms of abuse. But secondary school head teachers say the ban undermines their authority in schools. Sulima Ishak, head of Sudan's unit combating violence against women under the Ministry of Social Affairs and Civil Society, is being investigated by security services for accusations of leaking state secrets to the United Nations envoy under Article 47 of the country's Criminal Act. This came after Royal Capet on March 28 told the United Nations Security Council that Sudanese government forces had raped 16 female protesters since last December's anti coup protest. Ishak, who is now worried that she will go to prison on trumped up charges, said the coup forces are targeting her because they are afraid of getting sanctioned over the information that was presented to the Security Council. 10,000 South African soldiers will help relief efforts in KwaZulu Natal province, where more than 440 people have died in floods and mudslides, and dozens more are missing. President Cyril Ramaphosa said in a televised speech that his cabinet had declared a national state of disaster because of the floods and extreme weather in several other provinces, which would allow for a more effective response to the crisis. He also said the finance minister will approach parliament over additional spending beyond the 1 billion rand which he said is immediately available. Now the president of Burkina Faso's Mines Chamber said on Monday that extra measures will be taken to increase security and help to avoid further suspensions after Russia's Norgold shut down a gold mine in the insurgent hit country earlier this month. Norgold called force major on its Takpako mine on April 9, citing the deteriorating security situation in the West African nation where Islamist militants have gained ground and escalated attacks in recent years. The Central African Republic's criminal court is due to hear its first trial on Tuesday, seven years after it was formed. The hybrid court, which is staffed by both international and Central African judges and prosecutors, was set up to investigate war crimes and crimes against humanity committed in the past two decades. The defendants in Tuesday's trial are members of 3R, one of the most powerful armed groups in the country. They are accused of massacring dozens of people in the northwest of the country. This is your digital force on African News Network, TOS Television. You're watching Africa Now. More stories coming your way after the break. So stay tuned. Welcome back. Mali has received another batch of military equipment from Russia after the European Union suspended its military training program with the Sahel nation. Mali's armed forces chief, Major General Umar Diara, received two combat helicopters and surveillance radars, the Malian presidency said in a statement. Diara termed Russia's support to Mali as a manifestation of the very fruitful partnership. Two soldiers have shot dead 15 people in separate attacks in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The victims were almost all civilians. This comes after six people were wounded when soldiers threw a grenade into a crowd whilst trying to carry out an arrest. The committee selected by the House of the People, Lower House and the Upper House, which is the Senate, of Somalia's parliament on Monday, submitted their plan to have the two chambers elect speakers and deputies. In a joint session, the legislators approved the timeline to elect the speaker and deputies of the Senate on April 26, while the speaker and deputies of the Lower House will be elected on April 27. 
Kenya's three-week fuel crisis have eased as suppliers improved as, as supplies improved at gas stations after the government raised pump prices. The government on April 14 raised prices of petrol and diesel by 0.09 US dollars to retail at 1.25 dollars and 1.09 dollars respectively in Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. Daniel Kito, the Director General of Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, said fuel supply has been restored across the country, thus the market should operate at the optimum and in sports Kenya and Zimbabwe will be included in the 2023 Af Africa Cup of Nations qualifying draw on Tuesday, despite being banned by FIFA over government interference. The first two qualifying match days are scheduled between May 30 and June 14, with two more rounds between September 19 and 27, and the final two next year from March 20 to 28. And that is it on Africa Now. For more updates, to visit our website at www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow us and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Remember to subscribe on YouTube. To stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network, I am Abigail Ogwandi. Thanks for watching.